This weekend, my sip and stay adventure brings me to the Aeola Amity AVA in the Willamette Valley, an area known for the lighter and more elegant side of Pinot Noir. I found myself in Amity, Oregon, and I immediately fell in love with this quaint historic town that today has everything the wine traveler would desire. I am staying at the Amity Flats. Built in 1905 by the Masons, this newly remodeled building feels like a hip loft you might find in the middle of a city. Entering the flats, I noticed there was a lift, which could certainly come in handy. I love the high ceilings and repurposed materials from the original structure. Looking around, I could feel the sense of history living in the walls. My room is bright and airy from the large windows that look out towards the Aeola Amity Hills. Home to more than 30 wineries, making this a perfect destination for my flavor journey through wine country. My suite includes a semi-private bedroom with a queen bed, and the bathroom has natural lighting, an antique clawfoot tub, and a walk-in shower enclosed by glass bricks. I love to discover local products when traveling, and having a complete kitchen is always a big plus for me, so I can truly taste the region that I am visiting. The rooftop is a perfect place to watch the sunset and enjoy a bottle of wine that I picked up today right here in town. Each room is unique and it will be fun to come back and try them all. Amity has several tasting rooms, restaurants, and even a tap house, making it possible for me to spend an entire day here. Tomorrow I am taking a day trip to some of the nearby wineries to fully experience what this area has to offer. The big open sky, gorgeous views, and of course, the delightfully complex and elegant Pinot Noirs. The Amity Flats is a perfect home base for the romantic travelers, wine enthusiasts, and families too. The rooftop even has a ping pong table if you are feeling the need for some friendly competition. This was my first time to the town of Amity, and I know that I will keep coming back.